gang, it's Anne Marie here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm a certified senior advisor here in the DFW Metroplex where I have lived and swim in this senior living pond my entire living life. So I hope I can help you and today I want to talk about in-home care for your loved one. It's called home care instead of home health and that's different. Home health is what gets paid for usually by Medicare. Home care is usually the non-medical side of it, so you can layer them together to get even more support. But home care is usually, you know, you need help moving them around. It's kind of like having an assisted living caregiver in your house. And sometimes that's a good thing. You know, in my business, I try to find placement for people in senior living communities but if you've worked with me or if you have been dealing with stubborn parents you probably know that that's not the first step because usually they do not want to move they do not even want to talk about it and in some cases they will sit there and struggle endlessly in their house and not accept any sort of care from anyone and one of the biggest whining complaints I get from people that don't want home care is, I don't want anybody in my house. I don't want anybody going around. What if they steal stuff? What if they, what if they, what if they? You know, I'm uncomfortable with having people around. Well, that may be true, but if, if they don't want to go to assisted living to get the assistance they need, then they're going to have to suck it up and do that. And if you need me to talk to them, I can be super gentle about it and loving, but I can help you convince them that this is the way to go, at least for now. And so even though I help you find a place for them to live, I also have these resources for home care. And that's usually a step that can help bridge that gap. You know, some people, my mother-in-law, you know, they pay three and a half million dollars for care and they live at home to, with 24 seven caregivers till they die. And that's fine, you know, but home care is expensive. And so that is an unlikely scenario for most people. And so what they'll do with home care, even if you've called me and you're looking for senior living for your mom and she's not ready, you haven't even told her about it yet, you're saying, shh, don't, don't tell her I called because, you know, don't even mention her name. She doesn't even know we're looking. You know, I get that. That's how most people start out, just by the way. Um, but the first step could be she needs help getting in and out of the shower. You know, I think if there was someone there to just help her get in and out and make sure she doesn't fall, she'd be able to take a shower by herself, but she can't right now. If you're having those conversations, then that's the time we wanna call in some home care. Even if it's just for a few hours a day or a few hours a week, it is a great way to touch their toe in the caregiving world because probably eventually, if they're on this trajectory, they will have to do some sort of senior living move at some point. But wouldn't it be nice if they already had that expectation of what caregivers do, of what to expect from them, instead of just walking blindly into the unknown, into one of the biggest decisions of their life, which is moving into senior living. Um, another thing that I think is really great about home care is let's suppose that that is the trajectory. You already know, mama's got dementia, daddy's falling everywhere, they can't take care of themselves, they have to go to senior living, but you're having trouble getting them out of the house. It's always a process, right? So when you do that, wouldn't it be nice to have some home care come in and bridge that gap? And then those home care people can go with them to their senior living move. Now all of a sudden, your loved one has someone they already know, they already trust, that already knows their routine, that can help smooth that over. Because that's a real tough transition for a lot of people. And so that is a really good way to do it. You know, even if, let's say you're paying for 24 seven home care right now, and clearly they're not gonna need that kind of care if you're putting them in assisted living, let's say. But you know, it would be nice just for someone to, that they're familiar with them to come in and, you know, less hours obviously, but just to be there periodically to help them get over that hump, get used to where they're living. And that makes that transition so much smoother, right? Okay. So then there's the opposite of that. Maybe you have home care in your house and your parents have said, I'm not leaving until it's feet first. And 
all of a sudden home care gets too expensive because you're having to pay for more and more care the sicker and sicker they get so the other side of that is that the home care people can help identify that for you they can say I hear that it's costing too much money or hey we observed this about your dad you know he's been really struggling with XYZ thing over here and even though we're coming in four hours a week and that's all he can afford it's not enough it's not safe for him to stay by himself so they can connect you with someone like me who can help you go ahead and find that thing and help them make that transition into senior living so if there's anything that you need in terms of home care, I have some great companies I work with and I trust them. So before you go just blindly looking on the internet and picking whatever crazy name pops up, give me a call. I'm happy to share all those things with you. I hope that this helped you in some way and please share it on your social media just out there like the videos and subscribe to the channel that really helps us a lot in terms of getting the word out and we want to help as many people as we can thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you soon